We purchased this three acre wooded lot for $63,000. Next, the footings are dug for the house. Now it's time for the concrete. After a week, the footings dried and we brought in the forms for the concrete basement walls. Hi, we're Ferris and Lisa, and we've been building our house for just over a year now. If you're new here, please subscribe. We have a full series on building this home, and we just released our design ebook and our floor plans. You can find the link in the description below. Now back to the laps. Next, we are backfilling and leveling out the land. Once the land was leveled, the trenches for the garage were dug. Next, the concrete truck came in and poured the footings. Now the plumbing crew is here to put in the underground plumbing. Now it's time for concrete floors. Our local energy company is here to hook up our electricity and gas line. Next, the framing begins. Now it's time for the first floor walls. Since our lot is in a rural area, we need to drill a well to get access to water.
we brought in concrete slabs for our back patio. The remaining framing has been completely finished along with our back patio. And now the house is ready for the trusses. The next week, the guys made sure all the trusses were secured in. They started to build up the back patio and began putting sheet wood on the trusses. Once all the sheet wood is on the roof, they work on the main peak on the elevation of our home. We tried to paint the exterior of our home, but we had to stop due to weather. Time for shingles. We added some metal roof accents above our windows for decorative purposes. We purchased our aluminum clad windows from Weathershield for $31,000. The brick is going in as we're setting the windows. The brick and labor cost us $25,000. The framers are back to finish the board and batten on the main peak of our home. Next, we are finishing the underside of our front porch roof with tongue and groove. The electrician is here to place the first electrical wires and to set outlet and switch locations. We need to get our fireplace set so the plumbers can hook up the gas line to and from our fireplace while they do their roughs. We are insulating our entire house. First we need to foam the windows and caulk the joints. We use R19 to fill the cavities in our walls, R38 in our step ceilings, and rafter vents in our soffits. We will do the attic at a later time.
Our insulation cost came to $5,500. A drywall crew is here to drywall our entire house. Drywall and labor came to $18,000. After the drywall's complete, the house gets primed. Now that the weather is cleared, we are finishing the exterior paint. We are preparing the side of the garage for the stone. Once the scratch coat layer has dried, we begin to adhere the stone. Now we are moving on to tiling our Jack and Jill shower. Now we're moving on to the floor tile. We added an uncoupling membrane to help prevent the tile from cracking and provide a water resistant barrier. At the same time, we brought in some help to assist with the master and powder room shower tile. The tile material and extra help cost us a total of $11,500. Our septic tank lays in front of our house and is connected to the drain field which stretches to the front portion of our lot. The septic tank and labor cost $13,000. Moving back inside, the HVAC so far has cost $10,000.
outside we are getting retaining walls to help with erosion. Our front and interior doors are here. The doors cost us $5,000. The remainder of the stone is going up on the front of our home. The stone and labor came to $18,000. We are putting tongue and groove on our cathedral ceiling. The cost for our 14-foot wide driveway is $15,000. The tongue and groove cost us $4,500. Now that our cathedral ceiling is finished, we can blow in our attic insulation. Next up are the cabinets. We installed our cabinets in the kitchen, bathrooms, and laundry room. The total cost of our cabinets and sinks came to $14,850. The countertop sinks and labor came to $10,200. We received all of our garage doors for $4,000. After one year of building, our total costs have come to just under $542,000. So that's where we're at after one year of building our house. We still have a long ways to go, but it's getting there. And if you guys are interested, we have an in-depth ebook on how to design your own house on a budget, whether you're remodeling or building your own house. And yes, it does include our floor plans. So with that, we'll see you in the next one.